Hello everybody, what's up, how are you doing? Uh, before passing judgment on, uh, you know, and commenting and disliking this video, hear me out to the end of this video because it's a very complex issue and sort of a lose-lose situation right now. And uh, I feel like I'm trying to be as neutral as possible. So uh, yeah, just, just hear me out until the very end, okay? But um, yesterday, the official Gadget Impact Twitter account tweeted out a quite bizarre celebration. I don't know if it's a celebration is the correct word for it, but uh, yeah, let's just let's just talk about this. So, in terms of uh, of the celebration, quotation marks, uh, we have this tweet Genshin Impact tweeted so that says, uh, "Dear travelers, to celebrate reaching two million followers and then some, Paimon has decided to host a community challenge. Follow Ella Musk at Paimon to the Moon and check out the image below for what will happen when each milestone is redeemed." And then they attach on it this picture that says, "Follow Ella Musk, blah blah blah." When 500,000 fans follow, Genshin Impact will rename it back to Paimon. All right. When 1 million fans follow, Genshin Impact will follow Elon Musk. When 3 million fans follow, Genshin Impact will invite Elon Musk to stream Genshin Impact. Then you you probably already know everything that went down, but uh, as you can probably tell. Uh, this isn't the usual Twitter layout. That was a screenshot of a Discord embed of a tweet that I was in. Uh, that is because uh, Genshin actually deleted the tweet. <laughs> uh, the backlash was so severe and so fast on this that uh, it got to the point that the retweet to like ratio was actually in favor of retweets. Like a multi-billion follow account was getting ratioed by just normal people. Uh, and it, they deleted the post, they deleted the post. And now the official Ella Musk account is still alive, but it hasn't retweeted anything in the past 20 hours. And uh, they had retweeted the original tweets, but uh, they took it down as well, because yeah, of course. Funnily enough, it was such a big flop that it got MiHoYo what they kind of wanted. Elon Musk noticed the Genshin Impact situation because everyone started tagging him uh, because of the gigantic flop that it was. So uh, maybe it paid off. I don't know. It's, well, we'll see. We'll we'll never actually we'll never know. Maybe we'll know. I don't know. Depends on depends on what happens really. But uh. <laughs> so now that you have that little recap, um, why does this matter? And what do I mean by Genshin's community and uh, you know our problem going forward uh, that I wrote down in the title. Uh, well, I want to point out uh, two things that this shows us about how uh, MiHoYo and, you know, the internet at large sees the Genshin community. Uh, the anniversary reward situation, if I may be able to go back and divulge in that disaster, uh, was an absolute disaster. <laughs> Regardless if you were for or against everything that went down, uh, it is obvious that it was just raw chaos. It was just raw chaos. MiHoYo eventually, it seems, accepted defeat and gave out extra wars in the mail. Uh, but then after that, just continued business as usual and didn't even mention the anniversary aside from the concept that they already had planned. The community was obviously still mad, but you know, it had appeased people for a while. The concert was uh, really, really, really good. I loved it. And a lot of content creators did as well, and because of that general positive attitude, things had sort of almost gone back to normal, but it was very it was very clear that there was still a lot of anger and resentment in the community. So while all of that controversy was going on, the kind of internet at large was seeing the reaction of the community, and uh, specifically some very, very toxic people in the community, and calling us uh, crybabies for being mad at the game and uh, giving it and other completely unrelated games uh, one star reviews uh, when those could when those people could just you know stop playing if they were that mad about the situation then it gets crazier then when Ito was shown off uh, the entire community had like near universal appraise as become like one of the highest if not the the highest liked and retweeted a character like show off uh, ever. So, you know, this this guy is just, it's, it's the biggest thing since sliced bread for us, apparently. And you know, it seemed people had forgotten about the anniversary drama, at least publicly. And uh, now that the, uh, you know, another big drama that gets the official Twitter to take down, uh, you know, their whole tweet from how intense the backlash was, 
uh, the community as a whole is once again being called crybabies. And I feel like the Genshin higher-ups feel that way too. They immediately took, down, uh, took the post down and made it look like nothing happened, almost like they want us to forget, you know, like how you would do to like a kid if they asked you for like a lollipop and you don't want to give it to them. And this stigma about the community will have a real tangible impact in my opinion, which uh, mostly plays out in two big things that I'm already kind of seeing. One of them, which I have first-hand experience on and I've seen other YouTubers have first-hand experience on, is the Honkai uh, Star Rail uh, new announcement and game that's coming out. So I made a video that originally, so it seems like I deleted the original thumbnail, but basically it just said that the next Genshin right here, uh, and you know, I'm a Genshin YouTuber. So I thought, you know, having the next Genshin on the title, not only would it help visibility for my Genshin audience, but it will also, you know, reach out for a wider, you know, for, for to, to sort of sell the game to the more casual Genshin crowd, especially the one that, you know, Genshin Impact has. Uh, but this, alongside, I think, a video Mtash posted, uh, got like a lot higher dislike ratio than usual. And it's not every single comment, except maybe two in my comment section, is just completely being, uh, you know, anti-Genshin community and saying that, you know, putting the next Genshin Impact in the title is incorrect. And then I think at one point I said, uh, where was it? Here, this comment, this comment really, really drove it home. This person said, I don't know, dude, it's more like the next Honkai to me because there's no lower store correlation to Genshin. And uh, then I said, the reason why I originally put the next Genshin Impact is because it looks open world to me. It has just like, just like Genshin and well, I'm a Genshin channel. So I tried to get the Genshin crowd excited for a Honkai game, blah, 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 blah. And I said, uh, I changed it though, because it seems like I messed up in saying it. The next Genshin has a negative connotation. And then the follow up from this person was a fucking course. It's giving, it's giving negative connotations because what happened in Genshin Anniversary Drama, people from the Honkai community doesn't like Genshin Impact. And seeing the next Honkai project, which is Honkai Star Rail, being that said that this is the next Genshin, just from looking at the open world aspect, because if I'm honest with you, it's more closer to look like Honkai open world than Genshin. But the main point, the main point really, is that it's, it's this. Oh fucking course, it's giving negative connotations because what happened in Genshin's anniversary drama. People from the Honkai community doesn't like Genshin Impact. And if you cross over, and uh, now I'm in the Honkai 3rd uh, subreddit, or the Hokai? Hokai 3rd. Huh. I, I, it probably is how you actually sp sell it or spell it or say it, but I'm just, you know, I haven't played Honkai. I just watch from a distance. Uh, people, there's this post that's saying, will future Star Rail players have bad relations with Honkai, uh, Honkai Impact 3 players like the Krinkishing Honkai community? And, um, and it's just an overload of negativity towards the Genshin community. And look, I understand why, because <laughs> people have mass downvoted and, uh, you know, they, they've been toxic in general towards MiHoYo as a whole when uh, the Genshin anniversary is a problem of just the Genshin dev team. And look, the reality is that there won't be as, Honkai, Honkai Star Rail won't be as big as Genshin Impact, I don't think. Uh, nothing will probably be as big as Genshin Impact until like, I don't know, if MiHoYo decides to do Genshin Impact 2 and it's like bigger and better and like it really pops off. Genshin Impact is a lightning in a bottle situation, and I don't think it'll happen again for MiHoYo. But there is, there is an increased audience that whenever they see that, uh, you know, the marketing for Honkai Star Rail, um, they will go check it out, crossover, and you know, start playing Honkai Star Rail. But it'll be such a hostile environment and hostile community because half of the community will be Honkai community, the Honkai Impact community, which absolutely despises the Genshin community, and just the Genshin newcomers that just want to play Star Rail, right? And there's this situation where 
our reputation as a community is starting to it will negatively impact um, the future of you know opportunities and the future of you know our own communities because at the end of the day some might just only play Genshin, some might just only play Hongai, but there's a lot of crossover. And especially with new games coming out, there will be a lot more crossover than there currently is. And then secondly, what I wanted to talk about is the fact that MiHoYo is ignoring us, because uh, if they're ignoring us and just making it seem like, oh, nothing happened, we're moving on from this situation, for such a, you know, it's it's a silly tweet, really. But it also happened with the anniversary situation. I wonder uh, how much they're willing to ignore us when it comes to game issues, balance issues. They've already ignored us for quite a long time at, for asking for Venti and, you know, uh, other, other win characters that don't really work well with, um, you know, Picking up bombs and all that stuff with like Klee, uh, Aloy, stuff like that. And uh, you know, stuff, things of that nature where we've asked for so long, but it's evident that they, even though like it's probably 90% of their feedback, like uh, what are they called? The feedback uh, surveys, uh, they're definitely not doing anything about it, even though like it's something we really want. And so, tangent aside, how long or how much or how far is MiHoYo going to ignore the community if, if with these issues? And uh, when will it, when will it be too much? And when will like the community just get tired? Because I love the game. I love Genshin Impact. Currently, I'm barely playing it because uh, I'm just not having fun because there's not that much content. 2.2 literally just came out. And uh, I haven't really checked it out because 2.1 burned me out so hard and 2.2 has barely any content that, uh, you know, I'm just gonna probably just drop in one day, do everything that I wanted to do and then drop out and not touch it again. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this video kind of showcases my, my worries about the community and the situation because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of kind of worried, especially with Honkai Star Rail because I personally I'm an RPG, turn-based RPG fanatic. I I love Persona 5 and Persona 4 Golden. I I love um I love Pokemon. I like I, I love turn-based RPGs. And I was really, really, really excited for Honkai Star Rail, and I still want to make content for Honkai Star Rail, and I still want to play Honkai Star Rail. But it it, it kind of really, you know, it hurt to see that, you know, the entire internet just despises the Genshin Impact, I wouldn't say despise, they just have such a distaste for the Genshin Impact community that uh, whenever you bring us up together with another game, it, it's immediate backlash, so I don't know, I don't know what to do to be honest, I don't know, like usually I come up with some, uh, some alternative, some, you know, Oh, we should do this. I really don't know what to do because like I said, this is a lose-lose situation because if we try to be more happy Like yeah, like this everything is fine. Let's not complain as much blah 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 uh, More things uh, that, that the dev that the Genshin dev team uh, Just that angers us will you know it will, Just like at the beginning of the game. We'll just like dismiss it and uh, It won't get solved uh the only reason we got higher resin count uh, from I think it was 120 to 160 was because all the way where the game came out was because we protested. We talked about it when the game came out and it was it was loud enough that they heard and the Genshin team heard about it and they changed it. Uh, and the only reason why we got an extra 10 free wishes, the wings and the little harp, the neat harp that plays music and the teapot was because we protested. And the only reason that they took down the, twi the tweet and uh, maybe in a, in a day or two, maybe we'll see, we see a different tweet about Elon Musk or something that is more substantial or not, it's because we protested. The ways we are protesting, like the one-star reviews and all that, uh, after, you know, being completely secluded from the community, from other forums, like the official Hoyo Lab, getting banned from uh, Discord, getting blocked on Twitter, stuff like that. Um, that type of stuff uh, 
the one star reviews were the only things that many people could do. So yeah, it's just a lose-lose situation and I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, I'm going to continue covering uh, Honkai Star Rail and Genshin because I love both games and I wish for them the best. And for the Honkai Impact 3rd community, uh, I'm sorry. I did not meet, I did not know that it, the hate was so strong for the Genshin Impact community. I was just excited for the game. I was just excited for Star Rail. That's all I, that's all I really wanted and that's all I, all I wanted was to share my excitement with my, 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 my very small but humble community. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate it. Papa bless all the love. And uh, I see you next time I come up with something fun or something not so fun to talk about. Bye-bye.